When dealing with levers, you use the same general principles of machines, but rather than having work equal force times distance, instead you're using torque, where the torque equals the force times the lever arm. Other than that, the principle is pretty much the same. If you increase the lever arm, you decrease the amount of force necessary. And the tricky thing with levers shows up when you start to deal with some unconventional types of levers, which we'll get into in a separate video. But the bottom line is that whenever you're using levers, you're basically looking at exchanging the distance of the lever arm for the amount of force. And so here, again, we have a 10 kilogram object. In order to lift that, you need 100 newtons because that's the force of gravity times the mass of the object. And uh, what you're doing here is here we have one meter and here we have five. And uh, by having a five times as long lever arm, it reduces the amount of force that you need to apply by a factor of five. And so on this side, it will be accomplishing a gravitational force that it's fighting of 100 newtons. But on this side, you'll only have to push down with 20 newtons instead because of the fact that the lever arm is five meters. And so that confers you a mechanical advantage, a five to one mechanical advantage, because you have the longer lever arm and thus the 20 newton force that you're applying is going to have an output force of 100 newtons. And so that's how all levers work. This is one of the more traditional basic ones, but a lot of levers can show up in a lot of different forms. So just be prepared to recognize that torque equals force times lever arm and then be able to change these quantities, increase or decrease the lever arm, in order to increase or decrease the amount of force necessary.